Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm here today to talk to you about Cervidil, which is a drug often used in labor and delivery units, and I'm a labor and delivery nurse. Cervidil is a brand name. The generic name is prostaglandin E or dinoprostin. Cervidil is manufactured by Furring Controlled Therapeutics Limited, which is located in Scotland. So what does Cervidil do? Cervidil is indicated for women who are 40 weeks gestation or near full term who need to be medically induced for labor. However, from my experience, we use Cervidil not only when they need to be medically induced, but when the mother wishes to be induced. Cervidil is a naturally occurring biomolecule. Cervidil comes as a piece of medication attached to a shoestring. It's about this long. The shoestring is white and the medication is white. The medication contains 10 milligrams of dinoprostin and 241 milligrams of hydropolymer. It comes in a 10 milligram vaginal insert that is inserted by the physician or midwife, midwife who is trained. Cervidil is only available by prescription. Cervidil safety has not been established in children. Contraindications for Cervidil is patients with known hypersensitivity to prostaglandins, patients who have had a prior cesarean section, patients who have had more than six term births, patients who have had unexplained vaginal bleeding during their pregnancy, patients who have a suspicion of or known marked cephalopelvic disproportion, which is kind of just like a funky shaped pelvis where the baby doesn't have adequate room or position to get into the birth canal for a vaginal delivery. Most of the patients with this disproportionate pelvis wind up with a cesarean section. Um, patients who also have prolonged contractions, meaning more than five contractions in a 10 minute window are contraindicated for the use of Cervidil. The only drug interaction for Cervidil is Pitocin. Cervidil usually stays in for 12 hours unless it needs to come out before then. Once the Cervidil comes out, nurses are to wait 30 minutes to an hour before starting a patient on Pitocin. Again, the doctor or midwife inserts the Cervidil, but the nurse does have the responsibility of taking the Cervidil out. Warnings and precautions for Cervidil. Women who are over 30 years old with complicated pregnancies or women who are 40 weeks gestation who have shown to have an increased risk of postpartum disseminated intravascular coagulation or DIC, which is a bleeding disorder, are warned against the use of Cervidil. Women who have a history of glaucoma or asthma, even if it is childhood asthma and um, the patient has had no asthma attacks during adulthood, are warned against the use of Cervidil. Cervidil can cause inadvertent disruption and subsequent embolism of antigenic tissue causing rare circumstances, circumstances the development of anaphylactoid syndrome of pregnancy. Once a woman has started to progress into her labor, um, progress in dilation and effacement, or has started to have more than five contractions in a 10-minute window, Cervidil should then be removed at that time. Also, the well-being of the baby is to be assessed at all times while Cervidil is in use, and at any time, if the fetus is seen to be in distress, Cervidil is to be immediately removed. There are no skeletal anomalies expected with this drug since the drug is to be administered after all organs are developed. Adverse reactions with Cervidil are hyperstimulation with fetal distress, uterine hyperstimulation without fetal distress, or fetal distress without uterine hyperstimulation. Fever, nausea, abdominal pain, vomiting, and diarrhea are also adverse reactions of Cervidil. However, as nurses, we like to see abdominal pain in a woman who is receiving Cervidil. This abdominal pain lets us know that the drug is in the right place and is 
working like it should be and hopefully progressing this woman's later and labor and allowing her cervix to open and ripen up. Cervidil is supplied with one insert per box. The um, actual drug comes inside of an aluminum foil package, which is inside of the box. As nurses, we tear open the package and drop the medication into the doctor's hands. The doctors wear sterile gloves when they insert this medication into the woman's cervix. Some doctors use um, saline to help insert it. Some doctors use lubricating jelly. It's just kind of whatever their preference is. And when this Cervidil is not in use, when we're waiting for a patient to come in to use it, Cervidil is to be kept in the freezer at all times, not in the refrigerator, the freezer. So this is a drug that we often use when um, women are full term, 40 weeks, and their cervix is not open, their cervix is still closed. Therefore, usually when their cervix is closed, we do not start them on Pitocin. We try to start them on Cervidil to help open up their cervix to then hopefully be able to progress them to, serve, to um, Pitocin to break their water to get their labor going. All right, thank you.